Hi friends, I'm Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. We're playing level 185 because it's a great sugar drop level. Sugar drops are those little uh, superhero candies with their utility belts on. I'll show you in just a bit. And they help us to achieve boosters when we drop them in our apothecary jar over here. We also have to uh, be cognizant of the fact that we've got another mission to complete. We need to bring down these hazelnuts in 30 moves. So we need to clear out a lot. Let's get started. There's only really one move we can do here, so let's go ahead and do it without boosters anyway. Now, when we have the opportunity to create a special candy, like a striped candy, we're going to do it. When we, have, when we have the opportunity to detonate it, we're going to do it. We want to clear out as much space as possible. Uh, we've got some uh, things preventing our progress. These chocolate creators are going to impede our way. So um, anytime we hit a chocolate, it's not going to create a chocolate on that turn. So that'll stop it momentarily. And now we have to break through some of these walls um, by detonating, uh, you know, by clearing out as much close to those as possible. Still getting rid of all that chocolate. And now we've created our first uh, sugar drop. And once we match it, it'll go into our apothecary jar. And creating sugar drops is usually a process of uh, making things cascade. Anytime we can set off a special candy, it's usually going to make things drop, and it's going to create one of those sugar drops for us. Let's see what we can get to cascade here. Well, let's create a special candy. Oh, we got quite a few moves. So we created now another sugar drop. Another sugar drop. We only have 16 moves and we have a lot of ingredients to bring down. So we've got a little bit of work ahead of us here. We're getting closer. All right, now I'm going to move this blue one down because it's going to take out this row of blue and then the purple is going to collapse. And hopefully I can start a cascade by doing this. Oh, that wasn't very helpful. I think I'll go back to my strategy of setting off special candies. That didn't work either. There we go. That should make a candy drop. A sugar drop. A something drop. Okay, there we go. And I'm also going to try to remove any obstacles that are preventing my hazelnut from reaching the bottom. Get rid of this chocolate. Bring all these nice green things down into alignment. Can help remove that block. Now this is considered one of the best levels for getting sugar drops. You can get more sugar drops in some of the higher levels, but not everybody is up to, you know, level 906. So this is a good way to get sugar drops on some of these lower levels, and we're not doing poorly. We've got seven right now. If we can, oh, and it jumped up to nine. If we can complete the level, then that number is going to double for us. We've reached all of our ingredients. We're really not going to have any more opportunity to create uh, any sugar drops beyond that. Hopefully that one will... Uh, be eradicated by some bomb or something like that. There we go. So it dropped into our jar. So we got 10. We completed the level. So we should get credit for 20. Let's see what wonderful boosters we get as a result of collecting all of our amazing sugar drops with our cute little superhero utility belts. And we're, we're going to keep going with the points here because this level has to get rid of all of the special candies before it can end. And then it's got to give us credit for all of the unused moves that we did. And it's going to keep cascading. And the bad part about that is it takes a little bit of time and it doesn't give us any additional sugar drops for all of that effort. Because we've already collected one sugar drop for this turn. Obviously, if you have any questions or comments 
or especially if you've got a level that's giving you trouble and you want to see it solved, put that information in the comments below and as soon as I can get to it, I will try to solve it for you and show you some of my favorite strategies and techniques for getting through your most difficult levels. Uh, some people say you shouldn't use boosters. I think boosters are part of the game, and when you've got a tough level, you've got to try it. All right, so there go our beautiful sugar drops, and they gave us one free fish and two free lolly hammers to use for our next tough level. Thanks so much for watching. This is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru.